Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today we are filming my March Kinder Beauty Box unboxing. But before we do, we're gonna get into this lip right now because I think I look insane. It's giving overly tanned London girl 2010. Mm. It's bad. It's really bad. So, um, this is the So Susan Lip Cream in, it doesn't even have a color. And it's just, I don't think there's a planet where the, this color looks good on me or most people. So, um, it's giving Bozo the Clown Jr. It's not, it's not great. I'm gonna, um, take this off and put on something else now because I kinda hate it. Okay, I went ahead and put on the Trixie Cosmetics Cream Puff Lip Gloss, which I think is a much more approachable, friendly, <laughs> easy to use pastel color if you're going for a light, a soft color, a pastel. This, I think, is a lot more usable. <laughs> um, now that I don't look insane, let's also talk about something that's on my eyes. I have this on my eye just as like a light liner, and it is the Matte Eyeshadow in Martinique from Medusa's Makeup. I want to try this all over the eye in another look some other time, but I kind of like it as a liner so far. Uh, I know you probably can't see it dramatically, it just sort of blends in, but in person it does look kind of cute. So I like this, but I do need to give it another like full eye use before I feel like it's definitely one that can stay here in my collection. This on the other hand, this is going to someone else. Much like the last So Susan lipstick that I if I am recalling correctly, this is also super emollient and the quality is just not there. Although I have to say, the last time I've had a lipstick this emollient was from YSL like a million years ago. Those were just not good either. I don't know why they're so expensive. They're not very good. Um, so, mm, not fond of this, but hopefully... I will pass this on to a friend who can make better use of it because I could not. Um, this we'll try again sometime in the future, but it is nice as a liner. Okay, now with those shenanigans out of the way, let's go ahead and get into what is in this month's box. This was the first month where they let us select a couple of our items from two different sets of options. I think three of the items were you're getting them regardless and then you got to choose between a couple so let's get in and take a look so let's talk about the three items that you're getting either way this is the first one listed let's get it out of the bubble wrap if i can bubble wrap it tight okay here we go this is the Laguna Herbals Vegan Eye Balm to tone, soften, and moisturize. The description says this is a $60 value, which is a lot of money. Crafted specifically for Kinder Beauty with top shelf vegan ingredients, this eye balm quickly brightens tired eyes and fights off signs of aging. Plus, it's got an herbal light essence so that kind of worries me to begin with um the word herbal makes me think fragrance so i'm gonna read the ingredient list and we'll be right back okay just from a quick glance i can see it's got rose oil and chamomile so i don't want to put this anywhere near my eyeballs my eyeballs are the most sensitive part of my face to fragrance i guess it's the um the fumes or something I don't know my eyes are just not about it so this $60 value which feels inflated eye balm is kind of just a waste of time for me this is gonna be given away to someone else so already pretty disappointed that the most expensive item featured here is in my mind kind of useless the next item that everyone is getting is from Levito, and this is the Thera Intensive Body Cream. Now, I've had the Thera Intensive Foot Creams before, but I don't remember if I've had the body cream, so that's pretty cool. This is a $19 value, and it says, Designed to nourish and rejuvenate tired, lackluster skin, this ultra-moisturizing cream features ingredients like vitamin E and black cumin oil to accelerate cellular regeneration. Size exclusive to Kinder Beauty. So what size is this? 
three six fluid ounces so you should be able to take this on a uh, carry-on which is great i maybe will stick this with my travel stuff um so i'm actually pretty happy about this i have never tried this i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i've only tried the foot cream which is actually a nice enough cream in and of itself but i've actually been really wanting to get more travel items so i'm happy about that the next item that everyone is getting is from perfect it's the liquid mask sachet acai and pink clay it's a four dollar and 75 cent value which is kind of crazy this little packet it's a four dollar value four dollar and 75 cent it says need an early springtime pick-me-up look no further than perfect's fruity and bright liquid clay face mask use generously for one-time usage or sparingly to extend longevity um i wonder is it is it liquid it must be liquid it says liquid i don't know it's weird i guess this is also another item you could travel with which is kind of nice um except if you don't know how your face is going to react to it and then you have a bad reaction then you're traveling with a bad reaction on your face maybe i'm thinking too far into it i am probably going to put this with my travel stuff as well to use on the road even though that's risky because <laughs> it is a nice thin little sachet and could be useful so it seems like an interesting enough product i love getting a mask but it is cheap so right now, if I'm just counting the stuff I like, I am only at approximately a $24 value, which is not cool, in my opinion. And then we got selections we got to pick from. So the first selection was this or a full-size re recyclable metal tube of David's Sensitive Toothpaste. I went with this because it's a deodorant I haven't tried. So this is the JNL Naturals Orange and Bergamot Mineral Deodorant, $13.99 value. I am excited to try this. I haven't tried the JNL Naturals deodorant. I've gotten a lot of their hair oils, which are pretty good. I think there was something else I got from them that I wasn't wild about. I might have given away. I don't remember. Um, but I'm very excited to try this. I love trying a new deodorant because most of them don't work on me. So I'm always excited to try a new one to see what potential it holds. So um, it doesn't give you descriptions of the products you select from, but it's deodorant. How much of a description does it need? The next item was one of three you could pick from. So you could pick the one I picked or you could pick um, a deep cleansing purifying hair tonic. I don't need any more hair products right now. Or the Bella Pierre Cosmetics HD Finishing Powder, which... Sticky drawer. I already have, so I didn't want to get that. So I got this one. This is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Pro Blush Palette, which is a $25 value. And it says the colors are Rose, Autumn, Plum, and Sugar. Let's take a look at them. They're really pretty. I already peeked. So here is what they look like. This has got to be the ultimate travel compact for blush, right? Look at these beautiful colors. I can see these looking really nice on nearly anyone. Nearly anyone. Look at that. So beautiful. And I don't think I'm going to swatch these just because I don't think swatching blush most of the time is that useful because you're going to use it diffused out and there's no point in me putting a big old color swatch on there but look how pretty they are they ugh, the selection i can't wait to show you guys these on over the next few weeks i just think they're so pretty speaking of blush this is kind of just an aside i've decided to start going through my blush collection and wearing them all to see if i still like them and i'm very into this one right now this is the cargo bali which i don't think they even sell cargo anymore anywhere i have no idea but girl i like her she looks good anyway i'm very excited about this blush palette this is maybe my favorite thing in the whole box because it's just fun so overall there are four items i will be using from this box and 
I, I like them all pretty well. There's one that I won't be using. The issue being this one is the most expensive item. The claimed value is $60, which is probably more than all of this together. Hold on. Let me math. Okay. So these items actually add up to more than this, but it's very, very close. And I'm just really disappointed with the fact that this is made for eyes and it has all these fragrant ingredients given I can't be the only person who has very sensitive eyes when it comes to fragrance. So that's just really, really disappointing. And normally I would give this a better grade because I'm excited about four of the five products, but given the value that is placed on this, even though I don't necessarily think it deserves that high a value, I am going to have to take this down a couple extra notches. I'm going to give this like a B. I probably would have given it a, a, a minus, but I'm really disappointed in this item. So a B it is. Probably not that bad considering how bad some of my other boxes have been. Uh, I'm overall satisfied with this one so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did you can give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions you can leave them down below if you'd like to stick around for a while you can hit the subscribe button and otherwise i will talk to you all later bye